church family of Traveler Dress United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Christine, and it is good to be with you today virtually. I wanted to share something special with our children, but really it's for people of all ages, um, but especially our children today. I wanted to share my resurrection eggs. And these are special eggs. They're plastic eggs, but in each egg is a symbol from Holy Week. This week, from Palm Sunday to Easter, is Holy Week, and it's the holiest week of our entire year, and the most special week, because so many important things happen. And these eggs help tell the story of Holy Week. So we'll begin with our first egg. It's from Palm Sunday. And you'll see there's a little donkey in our first egg, because Jesus rode on a donkey into town, into Jerusalem, while they had the Palm Parade um, for him. And so that little donkey reminds us of Jesus coming into town on the donkey on Palm Sunday. The next egg has three silver coins in it, and these represent the 30 pieces of silver that Judas, Jesus' friend and his disciple, um, betrayed Jesus, told the religious officials and the Roman guards where Jesus was for 30 pieces of silver. And this reminds us of that betrayal. The next egg has a very small chalice in it. And this is a cup. You'll remember this cup when we have communion um, at church on Sunday mornings. It has grape juice in it. And it reminds us of the Last Supper, of the last meal that Jesus had with his friends, the disciples, when he took the cup and gave thanks to you and said, drink from this, all of you. That reminds us of the Last Supper. In the orange egg, we have praying hands. And this reminds us after the supper was over that Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. And he took some disciples with him, but they kept falling asleep. But Jesus prayed for us and for the whole world. And he also prayed that if there was any other way to save the world, that God would choose any other way. Not my will, but your will be done, is what Jesus ended up saying in his prayer, that he was willing to die for us. In the green egg, we have a piece of leather. And this leather represents the whip that they whipped Jesus with leather, with a big piece of leather, because um, they tortured him after they arrested him. Um, and this reminds us of the pain that he went through for us. In the sixth egg, we have a crown of thorns. They placed a crown of thorns on his head when he was on the cross, um, teasing him, saying that he was king of the Jews. So this is the crown of thorns. The next egg, we have a cross, and if you look closely, it's made out of nails. And so this represents that they crucified Jesus on the cross, that they nailed his hands and feet to the cross. And this green egg is one die, and that reminds us that the Roman guards gambled for Jesus' clothes, and that was humiliating for him. But it says in the Bible that they gambled for his clothing. In the purple egg, we had a spear. Have a spear. When Jesus died on the cross, one of the guards put a spear in his side um, at, the, at the very end while he was on the cross. Our tenth egg is a piece of linen, and that is what they wrapped Jesus in. After he died on the cross, they wrapped him in linen and placed him in a tomb. Finally, our pink egg has a rock in it, and they rolled a large stone in front of the opening of the tomb, 
and it acted as a door. It was very heavy, much bigger than this, obviously, um, and they rolled that in front of the tomb. Now the last egg we are going to save to open till Easter morning. So we're not going to open this one today, but on Easter morning, you parents and guardians out there, I want you to get a plastic egg at home and to write the word that we boxed up at the beginning of the season of Lent, to write that word, Alleluia, um, in, on a piece of paper and put it in your egg, and we will open those together on Easter morning. Thanks for sharing my resurrection eggs with you, and I look forward to seeing you Easter morning.